welcome to the channel it's uh, Rad, and uh this video is going to be all about scorpio sun moon and also rising and as well our tarot reading for the month of november 2022 i'm saying our because i am a uh, scorpio sun and to me uh, that reading is going to show how i'm going to face my month uh, so with that said uh, if you do enjoy the content here on the channel and you do want to stay up to date to it and it's content uh, make sure you do subscribe and hit the notification bell and uh, if you do want to have a personal reading with me you can uh, go to my website which link you're going to find in the description down below so with that said uh, let's get the cards and see what we have uh, all right so the first one for us scorpio that's going to be uh, temperance followed by uh, the second card for the month, uh, which is going to be the Nine of Wands. Uh, after that, what we have is the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, actually, I'm surprised having the Wheel of Fortune here after the first couple of cards. Um, uh, it's kind of bizarre, and I will explain why when I move into it and I explain you the first couple of cards. So, Wheel of Fortune uh, is the third one, and the fourth... Uh, that's going to be the Ace of Swords. So we're going to have some kind of a turnaround towards the end of the month. This is what the primary cards are showing here. Very bizarre. And I'm pretty curious of how the whole thing is going to play out when I draw the additional cards. But overall, just as a summary, the month is going to be very productive. And uh, depending on what kind of a goals we have bestowed upon ourselves especially in the first half of, in the first half of the month which is going to be more of a preparation stage than anything else we are going to set us up for a success whether into uh, career or whether into love uh, but uh, when it comes to love should you be single single and that is something i'm excited about uh because i am uh towards the middle of the month it does look like that is if you are entirely single, okay? Uh, towards of the month, it does look like that there is going to be an interaction, like we are going to meet a person that uh, we connect with on a intimate level. What we are going to do out of our out of that connection, well, that depends uh, on us. So starting up the month here with uh, the uh, temperance, the catalyst is going to be eight of wands uh, eight of cups i'm sorry so we do have those two cards a active enemies and uh i'm kind of sad seeing those cards because i usually don't preach that okay but what they show it is we we are really gonna try extra hard that is kind of like giving an extra effort from our behalf to fix something that's what they are showing fix uh fix a situation that we are displeased about i can't really say that we are emotionally destroyed about that situation but we are uh, if nothing else displeased about it maybe we are displeased about how our relationship is set up for those who have a relationship maybe we're displeased about how we do our job or what is going on into our job but the thing it is that we are going to have an influence on what we are displeased about now as a general reading i can't say for every single scorpio but for the majority of us this is going to be about human interactions and being displeased that we cannot get along with someone maybe a family member you know maybe a friend or maybe a significant one it could be also we can't get along with one or all of our children as well and what happens here is that instead of brushing it off you know instead of brushing off that situation because we can that's another thing we can definitely brush it off and just move on from it do different stuff and dodge ourselves with a different um, enterprises but here we are not going to do that we are going to strive to fix it and fixing it is exactly what we are going to do now should that be about human interactions for the majority of us which is going to be the case uh this isn't going to be fixing through uh reaching a common ground like you know establishing a united front unanimous opinion and so on and so forth now 
here the fixing is going to be even on the next level on the next stage where you know we are going to maintain our differences but we are going to learn we under we i mean us and the other side as well we're going to learn that neither of the opinions that we do have or the mindset it's wrong okay and we are going to learn to respect other person for the different opinion they have and as well vice versa and we're going to allow a unfoldment of both of the opinion way through and so on and so forth and that what the result of all that is going to be it is that the the um solidarity the compassion uh the respect is going to grow into our friendships personal relationships family relationships uh love relationships business relationships any relationships that we uh that we do have should that be not about a human interactions for you guys but a personal matter like a problem a physical problem that you do have then uh, those cards are showing that through tenacity and unyielding uh, intentions to 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 fix it no matter what uh, the start of the month is going to present us with uh, with a solution which is going to be pretty mild and under mild i mean is that it's not gonna require from us a gigantic effort the gigantic effort that i talked about at the start it is to uh, it is toward the determination not to give up once we decide that we're not going to give up then the, the the resolution is going to be can't really say easy and fast but it's going to be uh, ha uh manageable in a sense of resources time and so on and so forth in other words we're going to find the middle way to to to, to fix the issue and once that happened uh the nine of wands takes place that is towards the middle of the month and it is catalyzed by the emperor wall uh, so we do have those two a uh, active supporters as a, as an elemental dignity extremely strong energy here to pave a way why well it is because under the energy of those couple of cards we are going to pick up or rather like pick point all the aspects of of every enterprise that we are involved in uh aspects which depend on us and align them it's it's literally what these two cards are showing so we are going to undertake those conscious changes and rearrangements at our working place at our personal relationship at our friendships as well into our schedule if you will within our family as well just make them more comfortable to us and not just only more comfortable but align them in a such a way that they're not gonna go out of control anymore and we are never gonna let go of the reins of, of, of those steeds and so what the result of all that is going to be that um, we are from now on moving forward within those enterprises we are never gonna face um, well I would say that way we're gonna face every up and down manageably and therefore we're never going to face crisis in them anymore unless we decide to ensue one on our own accord uh now on a more specific level middle of the month is going to be as we do make those rearrangements those realignments those readjustments we're going to start clearing up more and more personal time that we can use for ourselves to grab a good book and, and read at uh before betting you know uh to have a nice dinner with i don't know with whomever we want so pretty much clearing up some time to have it for ourselves for our personal uh for our personal indulgements now i mentioned that middle of the month for those who are entirely single someone shows up that we are going to connect on uh intimate level uh now having the emperor there it's a little bit more stagnant it is because it shows that this is going to be a very strong person in a sense of that this is where two strong people kind of like clash and everybody pulls into their direction the other passion and the intimacy is going to be there but it is just every we as a scorpio and the other person uh, they're going to want to have it their way we're going to have it we're going to want to have it our way and all comes to that you know are the ways kind of like matching 
so uh, for some they are for others they won't and uh, the choice for that so rather like the outcome of that is going to be pretty much predetermined as soon as we get introduced to uh to the specific individual the name of your game middle of the month or towards the middle of the month reliability if something counts and you find it important for your life be reliable about it finding your job important be reliable within your job finding your relationship being important to you be reliable within your relationship finding a specific friendship being important to you be reliable into that friendship be reliable uh, and after the middle of the month kind of like rolls out uh, this is where the baffling starts uh, happens it is because it is the uh, wheel of fortune catalyzed with the justice I almost can say that the story ends at the middle of the month and here untold story kind of picks up because hear me out with the first uh, four cards that we saw the first half of the month of November we we're pretty much gonna set us up for a kind of like consistent foreseeable and uh, or rather like predictable and very manageable future which means that our growth is pretty much in the back and when you do have the wheel of fortune that means that out of nowhere you now have the chance to grow Having the, ju the justice being as a catalyst to the wheel of fortune, it kind of means that that is something you deserve or we kind of like deserve. And that is a story that picks off from untold one that happened in the past, which have been left unfinished. Uh, and uh, after the middle of the month, that's uh, opportunity I don't know what about. I can't think of in tomorrow. Well, I can think of, of a few things, but... I don't see right now how they are gonna take uh, how they are gonna take off. However, that's the beauty of the wheel of fortune. It's just randomly out of nowhere, you know, something, some kind of a circumstance happens that gives us the chance to make a difference into that uh, enterprise being on halt or even being literally dead, right? And that's gonna be once in a lifetime chance meaning that you miss it you're never gonna get it again i mean that very same uh that, that, that very same option available that very very same chance and if it kind of like looks a little bit unfair uh, don't fool yourself it is i mean you you um we kind of like did what we could and now the results of that what we could is coming about by giving us another chance so we are gonna get some kind of a other chance uh into uh into something which have been left and finished or ended up in the wrong foot slash the bad way whatever opportunity presents itself to us after the middle of the month moves forward with those couple of cards Scorpio uh, we are gonna have that sharpness of mind so to speak uh, so to speak intellectual agility to discern uh, how is how is best to take it and is it good to take it overall and um, I don't know about you guys I'm not very emotional I thought myself not to be my mother is a Scorpio, she's very, very emotional. Here, doing emotional choices is the worst thing you can do, right? It's actually, that, that, that is a certain way how you can lose that opportunity, okay? To, to, to make a difference in your life, to make it once in a lifetime change, so to speak. Uh, don't do it, I mean, whatever your mind tells you, that is what you gotta do. Forget about the heart, at least for the time being. And uh, after this uh, revival happens, uh, we do have uh, the Ace of Swords. That is the end of the month with uh, the World card. It's another interesting elemental dignity, uh, active enemies. It is the, what we do have here. And uh, with those two, this is more about retrospective. This is more about, you know, thinking what went, what went wrong, okay? And what can be done and 
can something be done so things never go wrong anymore? That is one version of events. Another one, it is especially for those who are caught blindsided by the revival, they never expected it. And uh, those two cards are showing a contemplation of why actually happened. I mean, some of us may dive so deep into it, they may look for a rather, uh, from not a material uh, reason for it, but rather spiritual reason. Like, for example, perhaps we are meant to be together and nothing in this universe can, can, can set us apart. Or perhaps I have been born to do that job and so on and so forth, you know, and you are, if that's your case, you are going to seriously contemplate into it, try, trying to find the answers to, uh, to that mystery of yours. That's whatever was dead and you thought it's never going to be resurrected or revived, reincarnated now it's going to baffle you why it did and, and what is the reason what is the purpose even of it uh i don't want to give you the answer right now uh from those couple of cards i don't want to mess around with your spiritual beliefs so that's why i'm gonna keep silence all of those cards are answering to it what i'm gonna say here it is that uh with those two cards uh, sometimes Sometimes there is more to it than we see. And we always have to keep that in mind when we are scaling up a, a situation and when we are deciding to put an end to it. And so with that said, Scorpio, that was uh, our tarot reading for the month of November. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it. And uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.